how do we even do this review? Neo Genesis Evangelion is one of the most iconic animes and the most controversial anime of all time. It is what Studio Gainax is known for, and it is Hideaki Anno's baby child. Not even Shin Godzilla can t could take that away from him. Fans are very divided with this show. Some people absolutely love it, some people absolutely hate it. What do I think? I absolutely love it. Like the title card thing said, even though it was the opening, said, I think of the masterpiece. Sure, there are some episodes I do not like, like Magma Diver, but overall, it's a fucking phenomenal show that has one of the most fucked up endings ever. Let's get into it. What I really love about the show is that you see how other people will react to this sort of situation. When you look at the characters, no one kind of acts the same. Even though Oscar may go insane by the end and start kind of acting like Shinji, she is nowhere on the same level. Her entire mindset of the situation is she wants to impress everyone, she wants to be the best, because her mother never really noticed her. And when she did, she was kind of abusive. So she has this feeling this demand to make everyone love her and there are people like that and it's incredibly sad when you see what happens to her. Shinji, I know people really give shit to Shinji but honestly it kind of makes sense. Sure I wouldn't do everything that he does but he at the beginning is very relatable. What the fuck would you do? You would probably go insane while you're doing this shit. But of course, it crosses the line. In End of Evangelion, when he's just sitting there, he knows what's going on outside. He knows what's ha happening to Oscar, and he doesn't do shit. Yeah, no, that's you being a pussy, yes. And I know the episode 24 and 25 is going on in his head during End of Evangelion. I will be getting to that. But I feel like that's fucking horrible. Ray. Well, she kinda doesn't really have a motivation, really. And I won't go into really the, that's uh, still kinda confusing. But then, of course, best girl is obviously Masato. It's because she's sexy, I swear. She's legal, shh. Also with Masato, she kinda takes it the same way as Shinji. Shinji, Oscar, and Sh and Masato are pretty similar, and you find and you figure that out as the show goes on. The fight scenes are amazing. They're gorgeous. They're so fluid and fun, and just the animation itself is amazing because, as you can tell, it's that old style animation, and it's fucking great. I never knew hand drawn animation could look so good. Then again, I have watched a Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Yeah, just my reveal there. So as the plot goes on, you find out more about the Avas and find out more what Gendo is hiding. It gets more suspicious, you find more about Mexico, find more about Rey, find more about the dummy systems, and it's all kind of like, what the fuck? You know, people kind of complain that the show goes on to a more physiological route after like episode 22, and I think that was needed because it really helped developing characters. You know, with Oscar, Shinji, Masato, it all really helped. And dear God, holy shit, the fight between Ava Unit 1 and Ava Unit 3 is just brutal. And then, so is when Ava 1 goes berserk. And dear God, it was chaotic beauty. And the plot is very confusing. <laughs> And you will, probably will need to rewatch it a few times, but I was able to pretty much understand it first time around, except with some things with the end of Evangelion. Let's get into that. Oh, end of Evangelion. This is definitely one end of a series. Oh, Jesus Christ. If Evangelion was going to end somehow, it definitely should have been like this. Now, I actually liked episode 24 and 25 unlike anyone else. 
for some reason. Especially the congratulations scene. I don't know why people dislike it. I mean, I find it one of the most important scenes in the entire anime when Shinji finally actually accepts who he is and he'll try to be better, which I love. And then the end of Evangelion happens and uh... If you've ever watched Gravity Falls, this is pretty much Weird Mageddon, but literally the most fucking deadly shit ever. Pretty much- <laughs> Everyone dies! And then Ray is fucking combines with Lilith and she becomes like this ghost angel Ray. she's naked and shit. And it's like vaginas everywhere, what the fuck is this shit? And Shinji and Oscar, like Adam and Eve and everyone can come back to life. Except for them? I don't know! I don't get half of what goes on in the in end of Evangelion, but god damn it, I love it! Overall, Neon Genesis Evangelion is, in my opinion, the greatest anime of all time. I know that's a very controversial statement to say, but I really do not actually like what can be considered the greatest animes of all time, like, you know, Dragon Ball Z, for some reason, Naruto. But I don't like either of them. I don't like many of the greatest enemies of all time because maybe it's because they were hyped up so much and when I watched them, they're just disappointing. Neo Genesis Evangelion is very divisive, but it's fucking awesome. The characters are really good, sometimes insufferable. The animation is beautiful, the fights are amazing, the Ava themselves are awesome. And the ending is... Confusing. In my opinion, I think it's worth the mind screwing because you get a fantastic anime that is Hideaki Anno's original vision. And that's what I don't like about the rebuilds. I haven't actually watched them. I've watched part of the first one and I've seen some of the changes that they did and I don't like them because this was Hideaki Anno's original vision for the show. This was his passion. This was his anime. This was his interpretation of a mecha anime that shaped anime for years to come. If you haven't seen Evangelion, go watch it. But with that said, I was DK and I think all that I have left to say is congratulations.